This is the Graflex SE lightsaber. There is a CE edition, which is collector's edition. This is the SE, which is standard edition. The difference is, I believe, is the collector's edition is nickel plated. Um, from what I understand, this part here, and I think down here is all nickel plated and this is the only part this little band around here in the button box is just silver I opted for the standard edition because it's all silver and I wanted it more accurate to the movies you probably recognize this from uh, Revenge of the Sith it was Anakin's lightsaber and became Luke's lightsaber and in a New Hope and Empire Strikes Back and it's also in The Force Awakens. <clears throat> this is my third lightsaber from Alter Sabers and this is probably by far my favorite next to the uh, Reaper. A few things when ordering this that I wasn't sure but um, if in case you don't know this is considered the back and this is the front, which I guess is kind of obvious, but I never thought about it. And I wanted to be sure because you have the option of the different color buttons for each side. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, I got chrome for the front and bronze from the back, for the back. In the movie, I believe this is red, but I don't really like the red color on silver. So I just went with a bronze a more metallic looking color that kind of kind of goes with the silver a lot better I got it in guardian blue I was torn between arctic blue and guardian blue and I just ended up going with guardian blue um, it comes standard with a cover tech wheel which you can take off and I probably will take it off because I kind of want to put a, a d-ring on the bottom here so I could uh you know, so it's more accurate to the movies. And it has a removable pommel. This is where your batteries go. And I wouldn't, I don't advise taking it out just like I did because you could ruin the wiring inside. But I didn't get it with sound, unfortunately. I kind of wish I did, and I might send it back in someday so they could add sound to it. But that's where the batteries go. Now, if you do order one of these, make sure that you get the correct size Allen wrench because the one they provide in on the Ultra Savers website will not fit this, and it will not fit the. Uh, this is where you uh, screw the blade in. It's a. It's a. <clears throat> the one they have in the store. It's it's just not the correct size for this. And this is the, uh, they have an option of the socket, which is the, what this is, or the, a button. I'm not sure what that looks like, but I was told that the socket is probably the best way to go out of the two. So I went with that. Take the uh, cover tech wheel off. So it looks like with it off. Uh, it's, see, I I think the look is better without it and you can grip it a lot easier without it too these black little uh, grips here aren't bad you have big enough hands they're actually not uncomfortable they look uncomfortable but they're it's pretty it's pretty nice to hold it's surprisingly a lightweight saber I was thinking it was gonna be quite heavy but it's very lightweight but still a solid metal saber not a cheap piece of plastic that you'd find in a toy store alright I'll put the blade in so you can see what that looks like I went with the um, the 36 inch blade I think in my last review I said that 32 is the perfect size and that 36 inch is too long I uh, actually take that back 
I think uh, 36 is definitely the perfect size and I can't look at 32 inch without thinking it's too small now so I uh, definitely recommend the 36 inch blade at least for this lightsaber and <clears throat> uh, mid-grade I don't really like the look of the uh, ultra edge I think the uh, the blue color or any color looks a lot better with the uh, the mid-grade blade and that's what it looks like of course yeah the camera does not give it justice but it's the guardian blue is definitely a uh, it's a nice dark blue color I don't know if I move it up close yeah see that's that's actually what it kinda looks like uh, on an ultra edge blade Like I said, I wish I got sound. But that's what the Graflex with Guardian Blue looks like. I absolutely love it. They've been out of stock for a while, but they finally have them in. So if you want one, I'd pick them up while supplies last. This has been my review of the Graflex SE lightsaber with Guardian Blue. Thank you for watching. Alright, so just an afterthought, I figured I'd show you the difference in blade length between the 32 inch blade and the 36 inch blade. Uh, these are both mid-grade and obviously the 36 inch blade is on the right and 32 on the left so that's the difference in size like I said before I recommend the 36 inch blade unless you're getting a smaller size blade uh, excuse me smaller size hilt okay thanks again